How are we doing folks? Uh, David here for my first video with the Touchline Hotspur family, um, of which I'm a new member and it's not a good start, not a good start. And um, West Ham 2, Spurs 1. Another loss um, in the Premier League, um, another bizarrely inept display, um, too many poor performances from too many players um, in key areas of the pitch. Um, which we need to win any game, not just a London derby, but any game in the Premier League. You need to have some top um, performances in certain areas of the pitch, and we just didn't have that for the most part. Um, let's start with a bit of context. So we haven't actually won back-to-back uh, -back games in all competitions for nearly a month now. Um, I think actually by, by the time we next play, it will be a month since we've won back-to-back. And any sort of hopes of finishing, you know, in the top four are desperately fading. Um, we literally have to rely on other people going on a similar run to what we've been on. Um, and that's shocking for a team that has as much um, quality in in spaces um, moving forward. But on the subject of quality, let's let's be honest, when we saw the lineup, we all knew that Hugo wasn't keeping his clean sheet today. We saw that lineup, we all knew that that 100th clean sheet wasn't going to happen today. Let's be honest, okay? Um, Sanchez and Dyer, I personally thought, uh, would be very much exposed in the from set pieces, and to be honest, they were run ragged, you know, for most of that game. Um, we always joke that this is West Ham's Cup final, don't we? Well, that came back to bite us because uh, they definitely took the momentum. First five minutes under the cosh, Dyer doesn't know where where his head's at, um, and they're in. Antonio again, you know. One of the most inevitable things in life as a Spurs support in the moment is Antonio scoring against us. Okay, and he proved it. Um, you know, good poacher's goal. Um, and then to be honest, we had the lion's share of possession, but we just looked so bad, you know, going forward. Hoiberg, whew. you know, I was a big fan of the guy in the first few months, but he's definitely looking tired. Um, and what really frustrates me, it really frustrates me just, just on a basic level. Why can none of our players hit a pass with any sort of zip? You're 1-0 down in the derby and it's this kind of just soft, soft, you know, kind of just flicking it here, flicking it there, expecting things to be handed to them. Now, kudos, must go to Gareth Bell. He came on and seemed like he really wanted to get involved. Um, definitely had more about him than we've probably seen in any other game, especially in the league. Um, but it wasn't enough. You know, it wasn't enough. And too many times we got into the final third and made some really bad decisions. Deli Ali marginal at best, gets the ball, you know, edge of the box, does a flick when he's got time to take a touch and just turn and pass and slips on in. You know, so things like that, we didn't deserve anything from this game. If we got a goal at the end there, um, you know, we hit the boat with a hit the post, didn't we? If we got a goal there at the end, yeah, we, we take a point. But to be honest, we had no fluidity for most of the game. Um, our def our offence, you know, our, our sorry, attacking positions, nah. It wasn't good enough. It wasn't good enough. And there's going to have to be some real desperate miracles um, over the coming weeks for us to really get anything out of this season. Um, so, yeah, here we are. Another loss on to uh, Augsburger in the midweek um, for the Europa game. We're 4-1 up. We should be fine, right? Should be. Let's see.